How do you explain that one? What the fuck just happened? How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 6, Episode 12 of Fear the Walking Dead. This episode is titled, In Dreams. So last episode was a Wes episode and it focused on this new group that they found in a parking garage called The End is the Beginning. Obviously we met them early on in the season, well a portion of that group. At first they seemed alright, they had a speaker system, they, they kind of worshipped a guy called Teddy, a bit cult-like. And then shit went down. Alicia and everyone wanted to escape, they kind of got caught escaping because he got betrayed by Wes's brother. Yes, his brother lived. And he lived for a short time. But Wes killed him. Uh, you know, he pushed him into a walker. And then, you know, he rescued everyone, basically. Alicia sacrificed herself and stayed behind. And then she killed a guy. And then Teddy met her. And that's how the episode ended. Also, Al found some CRM stuff and the CRM soldier in this, like, holding this place. And now she's got on an adventure to see what's going on there, and if she can find Isabel. No idea what to expect this episode. It might be like dream sequency, because based on the title. Um, I, I saw like one image of this episode, I think, like where it was like pink, like some really cool aesthetic to it. We'll have to see if Alicia escapes Teddy, if she turns against the group, and the only thing that can bring her back is Madison. We'll have to see. Let's stop doolallying about and get right into the fucking episode. Oh shit, that previously thing is pretty cool there. She's totally dying this episode, dude. I'm calling it right here, right now. You can't start an episode like this. Like, what the fuck? Ah! Morgan. Who the fuck's that? Is that her daughter? Oh, she's totally dying this episode, dude. Or she's losing the baby. Oh yeah, it's Morgan. Yeah, definitely. She actually here or she like blacked out somewhere and she's just having a dream? I like that, like, aesthetic, like, the pink. Since I was born? Doubt it. I guarantee this place is going to fall at some point. No, it's kind of got, like, an Alexandria, like, wall, like, prison kind of thing there. No, oh, shit! Old man Morgan! Morgan with a full head of hair. <laughs> See, now I'm worried, because, like, every episode this second half has been based around the character, and that character's died or had something bad happen to them. Oh, did you see that? Like, it kind of switched between her daughter. Morgan, it's me. He's probably like, what the fuck is that? What the hell? Are you sure it's me? Well, yeah, I mean, she die after birth, maybe? You've already met her. Uh-huh. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Usually I try to keep people out of the grave. Is that Cavill? <laughs> Wait, is that Charlie? The title. Charlie. My parents thought they were having a boy. Daniel and Victor? Jesus, look at him. Oh shit. Old man Dwight? Old the Dwight? Wait, they've had kids? Also, where's the baby uh, that Rachel had? Like, that, she'd be older now. She said she was chasing a story, but uh, we all think what she was chasing was somebody. So I was like, still looking, or she died. You can tell it's like a dream sequence from the way it's kind of like got a like depth of field around it and filter. It's like very blurry, oversaturated in a way. What is it? Eyes and ears. What? Eyes and ears? There's eyes and ears around us? What? There's no way they'd still be around, would they? We're gonna see Alicia on their side or some shit? The end. I've seen this before. The car. Is this where she gives birth? Whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, did she wake up in the real world or the- it's like she could, she went back to the real world for a second there and then didn't. What the fuck just happened? Where's Morgan gone? Morgan! We're right here! Tell you, like, the, the, the kid's probably like, she's crazy as fuck. What the fuck? That was younger up Morgan there. Like he was, it looked like he was holding her. She's totally fucking dying, dude. They're both her and the kids dying. Like this, like, they're together, right? In the dream world and that's like the afterlife. Who is this? It's the same one. Come on. The fucking dream's breaking down. Come on. She's just breaking down, like, what the fuck? What? Is she gonna let it kill her? What? Come on. What did you say? I mean, she's up. Why did the car explode, though? Like, what caused that? We need to get you back to Dr. Dory. We have 
have to go warn everyone. Stop the dog. You're not real. No. If she dies in the dream, she dies in real life. Give it back. That belonged to my mom. I am your mom. No. There was an explosion and people came after us. When people came after. I mean, it's clearly the guy from the holding episode. The white horse. Oh, don't go near that. White horse is deaf, dude. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, how they found him already? Hard man to find. How did you find him? Fuck you. What the fuck? Why are they in this world? Wait, what? What the fuck? She giving birth? She waking up? Uh, uh, oh, she's, oh, what? Oh! Well, he didn't live long. I mean, it's dream world, so, but he'll probably die this episode, too. Oh, also, what happened to the other guys? I was wrong. You are real. It's the only thing Because she's connected with you. I'm your mother. <laughs> da -na -na -na. I love the, like, the location. Like, what? Is that a real location? You won't. I feel like oh, both of them are dying. Would they really do that? So soon after John? Oh! A white horse! Yeah, don't get on that. The white horse symbolizes death, right? Same thing. Is that fucking Walter White? What's he doing? Also, that road seems a bit too clean. You know I mean, it should be more overgrown, but whatever. And like cracks in the road and shit. Are they still not in yet? Wake up, Grace. What's that gonna do, Morgan? They can shoot. Oh They've got guns. What the fuck? That's just... The, the aesthetics are cool, dude. Oh, that shot. That's a good shot. Why is it just stood there? Is it stuck on something? In the real world, I'm sick. I don't think I have much longer. I thought she was better, though. God damn it, Morgan can't go through that shit again. But I think they're gonna pull a debate. They're gonna kill both of them off. They're legit gonna kill her off. What the fuck? What the go. fuck is that scary yeah, shit? Us what we can. I think she, the kid and her are gonna die. Dude, that'll be devastating. Holy shit. It's weird because it's like cutting in between both. Just leave. Or I will do to you what I did to them. Oh. That key is gonna change everything. No, it isn't. You're gonna fucking nuke the world. But they had guns. They could just shoot Morgan, you know what I'm saying? Go <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Back for the gob. Wow. Really? Why would you leave him alive, Mom? They could have just shot him. Like, there was bad writing there. That was bad writing. What the fuck? She's dead? What the fuck? She just dies? Why is he back? Wow. No, she's gonna wake up. Oh! Morgan. The fuck? <laughs> she dies and then Morgan comes in she's like, Hey, I'm alive again. Oh, she's gonna fucking like pass over or some shit. Jesus Christ. She's legit dying. I... Uh, and the baby. Don't fucking do this to Morgan, dude. Don't fucking do this to Morgan. What the fuck? The baby, though. The, ba the, ba the baby's dead. Fear. <laughs> They're pulling a debate, dude. I, I think both of them are dead. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh, fucking hell. That, it, they pulled the debate on me. What the fuck? <sighs> She's still going to die, though, I think. She's going to give birth and then she'll die. So what? I think she's going to get it wrong, dude. Too predictable. Like, they're going to pull, like, a 360 no-scope on us and... Wait, shit. Whoa, fucking hell, dude. That was fucking loud. Now he's got the gun. What the fuck? Why is he getting right next to him? Like, just... Why do you want it? Sub. It does matter, though. That key is not the future. Don't do it. Morgan, don't do it. Because, like, there won't be a future if they get that fucking key. That is inevitable. If he just shoots, then I'm going to... Why would you say that? No, 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 no. You can't let him get away with that. That's bullshit. No, 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 no. After all that, like, the, the key just goes to them. What? Is June going to make it in time? That's copyrighted. Don't play that. 
Very weird music to play in this moment. Oh. Oh no. Why isn't she crying? Now they did this for Judith. They did this for Judith. What the fuck? Holy shit. And then don't tell me she's gonna die too. They were hers. Jesus Christ. You can't, no, no, you can't just do that. No, no, no. How'd you explain that one? What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Holy shit. I mean, I'm kind of speechless. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, holy shit, they did it. They, you know, finally, you know, did that. It's pretty dark, though. I feel like Fear is so much more dark than the main show. Occ occasionally. Sometimes the main show goes into dark stuff, but... Losing a child at birth? It's pretty fucking dark. And the last time we got close to that was with Laurie dying. And that shit, like, I'll be honest, that shit fucking broke me when that <laughs> happened. Like, I was like, Jesus Christ. This was, I mean, it was sad, but... If they both died, I would have lost my shit. Cause that that I you can't I can't see much. Like at least he's with Grace, you know they can handle it together. But if she died too, fuck. I think that was a solid episode. Um, give or take the, you know, the death of the baby. Jesus. <laughs> like I don't know if you call that solid, but it. Fuck. We can say what we want about season four and five, but this season, man, they've been nailing it. I'm not, not because they killed the fucking baby, but just because of, like, you know, they're not pulling their punches, you know, they're going hard on it. Fuck. I'm glad they didn't kill Grace now, because I'm thinking about it. The whole past season, like, the whole of this season would have been pointless. Like, he was trying to find Grace for the whole first half of the season, and then she just dies when he finds her. I guess he could apply that to the baby, too, though. Athena. A part of me was thinking, like, maybe she'd give birth and they'd have to run and she'd get shot, similar to what would happen with fucking Laurie in the comics. Like, they'd remix that but put it in third. Dude, if they did that... That would have been dark. But it, I don't think it would have drawn in the emotions as much as, like, both the actors, like, playing out, like, losing the baby. Fantastic acting from, you know, Lenny James and the uh, actress who plays Grace. I forgot, I forget her name. What's her name? Karen David. Yeah, I think she did a great job. Like, especially, like, she carried this episode, you know? Like, without her, like, the episode wouldn't exist. The dream aesthetic, I loved. This fucking... ass wipe looking for the key. I don't understand that. That's my... The one issue with the episode is a part of the stable fight. Didn't make any sense. Because they literally used the gun to kill the walkers right outside. And then he doesn't... He pulls out a knife instead of just straight up shooting Morgan in the head. You wouldn't have had to deal with his, like, you know, his staff stuff. The white horse, dude, I'm telling you, the white horse. Am I right about the white horse signifying death? Like, I, that, I, it's white horse is death, what's black horse? No, not the white house, not the white house, no, 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 no. White horses, the white horse, in Christianity, it's a symbol of death. I hope people aren't pissed, like, and they don't shit on the writing in terms of, like, oh, they killed off the baby, bad writing. Like, I think it's a, it, it's not really happened in any of the shows so far. We've not seen a baby die. I know it's fucked up, but we haven't seen that yet. And, you know, granted it had to happen to Grace and Morgan, sadly, but, you know, we've had a mother die at childbirth, but I don't know if they would have pulled that... Like, they could have killed them both... If they killed them both off. They killed... They literally just killed John off. Then they killed Virginia, and now they've killed the baby. What the fuck are they doing? Like, dude... They ain't put pulling their punches. These past, like, like, season four and five, like, they were playing it safe then. Obviously, season four, you know, they, they only technically killed Madison, you know, because Nick is, was, like, behind-the-scenes stuff, so it's got, technically, they wouldn't have killed Nick. Nick would probably still be alive right now. But, you know, the actor wanted to step out, step down, so they killed Nick off, and then they killed Madison off. And season five had no deaths. I mean, you had uh, season four's like Jimbo's death, and then season five had no deaths, right? Uh, other than like some minor characters. And then season six, we've had John die. We've had um, the girl who got like strung up at the tree. 
then we have Virginia die, then we've had, you know, Grace's baby die. They're not pulling their punches, this, and then there's probably going to be more deaths too, you know, we're probably going to see the death of, like, I could see the Vabai dying at some point, he's a very minor character, he's not as, like, important. I was literally saying throughout the whole episode, they're going to kill one of them off. Like, you don't do a dream sequence like this if you're not going to kill a character off. I'm loving Fear this season. I, I know it's kind of a weird thing to say after the baby just dies in the show, but... I mean, what can you say? Like, the only issue with the episode, like I said, is the, the gun thing. Like, he had a gun, he, they shot the walkers outside, and then inside the, the stables, like, he didn't use the gun against Morgan. It was just a bit weird, you know? But overall, I think, solid episode. Seeing old man Morgan was pretty cool, because it was it's kind of like a little... It legit was kind of like what Carl, Carl did, right? The Carl's vision from um, season 8. Like, it's the kid's dream, kind of. Like, there's no way you can predict what's going to happen in this fucking show anymore. Like, they're, they're, they're doing some wacky shit. It, it, the thing that's annoying me, especially the past episode and this one, okay, like, they're going to the hospital and then boom, explosion, like, for some reason they, fa they found them somehow, like... To me, that's baffling. I don't understand how that works. Oh, yeah, they found Morgan and that, and last episode, they found the end of the beginning group. It's like they're trying to rush to summer. I'm glad they're not fucking around and, like, wasting episodes on stupid shit. Like, this episode had a lot going for it. You know, from the baby, the dream sequence, to the guy, like, getting the key. Like, there was some plot advancements, but how they found Morgan is still baffling. Because, like, is it because Alicia told them? We don't know. We don't know. I don't think you can be pissed off. Like, it's not like John's death where it just felt like out of nowhere. And it was like, what? This, like, the whole episode was based around the death of the kid, right? So it made you think, like, Grace was going to die, but... Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, solid episode, but a pretty depressing one. <laughs> Especially at the end. Yeah, acting, great. Like, cinematography, I liked some of the shots in the episode. Editing was really cool. Yeah. Voice crack. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta, and farewell. Rest in peace, Afida.